Greetings! I am Savondra, the brains, brawn, and beauty behind Humans Be Gone, former Costa City's best in pest control. If you're watching this, it means you're interested in learning more about gobs. Very astute of you, and if I may add, very sexy. Of course, it would be sexier yet if you knew the proper term for an animal with bones is vertebrate and not gob, but I guess we can't have everything. Speaking of controlling pests, around this time of the bladder cycle, you may have noticed chickens on your front porch, and your walls, and your ceiling, even the cracks in your exoskeleton, especially the ones you don't want anyone to know about. Uh, there's no shame in it. Age affects the best of us. Luckily, chickens are not parasitoids. Believe me, you'll know when you're dealing with a parasitoid bird, because you'll be passing out from pain. No. Unlike the bloodthirsty canary, the common chicken simply wanders and picks up food wherever it can find it. You just need to control where that wandering winds up. Now, let's talk about what exactly a chicken is. Though chickens are vertebrates, they have much in common with the wild starfish you might find going through your trash. Luckily, unlike a starfish, a chicken won't try to take your leg off. Of course, this is only during the modal stage of their life cycle. Chickens spend most of their lives in a sessile stage known as roosting. During this period, they root in place, and their feathers extend to filter feed on protocules. However, a field of roosting chickens may present a hazard for the unwary gub as well. And whether you like it or not, the existence of protocules is proven scientific fact. Yes, your ancestors, maybe even your progenitors, were very tiny and may have been eaten by chickens. Sad but true. Moving on. You may be saying, well, this is all well and good, Sophodra, but how does that take care of my chicken problem? And to that I would say, wait, just wait for them to go into the Cecil stage. That's it. Problem solved. But no one has any patience. So they call me. Now, this is no easy task. Chickens aren't sheep, you know? You can't hurt them. But if you know anything about chickens, you know they love eggs. Specifically, snail eggs. So I had the idea. I'll just put a hole in a snail egg, wait for them to crawl into it, and then I close the hole. Simple. Good is done. Or so I thought. Uh, you see, the smell of that many chickens in one place was enough to attract weasels. A lot of weasels. And the weasels, well, they were really excited about finding that many chickens in one place, so, you know, they started doing their visceral aversions. And that, that wouldn't be a problem, but the smell of all that viscera was enough to attract vultures. Oh, the vultures weren't a problem either. Completely harmless birds. Very docile. You know, when they saw the weasels weren't dead, they lost interest and left. Unfortunately, hawks are dedicated vulture mimics, and they'll usually hang around vultures to complete the disguise. And, well, hawks love chickens. And now, uh, hawks aren't canaries either, they're not parasitoids. However, once they get riled up, they will attack anything. And weasels are mammals, they're not parasitoids either, but they will hide just about anywhere they can fit. And that's a lot of places. Sure, the bullock will take care of them eventually, but that's not a fun time. So there I was, trying to keep the hawks and the weasels from getting into the egg, and at the same time trying to keep the hawks and the weasels from getting into me. And then I realized, oh... I could just let the hawks and the weasels eat the chickens. So I dropped the egg. <laughs> anyway, I got the chickens. And really, the client was very lucky I was there. Not only did I take care of their chicken problem, but I also took care of the weasel problem, their vulture problem, and their hawk problem. And suffice it to say, I learned a very important lesson that day. Never put all your chickens in one egg. Well, that's my past tip. Until next time. I don't know why I watched that to the end. Because she called you sexy.